This is MikeBot. I'm doing a quick little unboxing and uh, review on this Logitech MX Ergo mouse. Um, I don't normally do uh, reviews and unboxing on uh, computer accessories like mice and keyboards or whatever, unless they're smart and they talk to you, which this does not do. But uh, since I have a lot of 3D printing on my channel and uh, graphic designing and all that, uh, I figured I would do a review based on that. If you are a 3D designer, uh, 3D model designer, I should say, or any kind of designer, developer, that kind of thing, and you need a good mouse that's going to be able to help you use uh, programs like AutoCAD or Blender or Tinkercad or OpenSCAD or any of that stuff, this mouse is a must. This mouse features a lot of really cool features as well as a very, very good uh, ergonomic design with it. Uh, I'll go through that in just a second. Uh, so basically, this is an adjustable ergonomically designed mouse. It allows you to control, move everything from text, images, files between two windows. Uh, it uses Bluetooth to communicate, or you could just use the USB dongle that it comes with. I don't know why I pointed there. Um, and it's also rechargeable. It's got a built-in battery. This one here is the graphite colored one. And uh, it's got the trackball, which is probably the most important thing. So I'm going to go ahead and start the unboxing on this. So this basically goes for about $125 Canadian on Amazon. There will be links in uh, my description below. So if you're interested, click the links and check it out. And I'll just uh, get the stickers off of here. Um, so before I open it, I'll just mention the feature that I'm really excited about. It's the 20 degree angle. This is really good for your wrist. If you have carpal tunnel or you use a computer a lot and you get wrist pain like I do, and the wrist pain is from using the computer, just thought I'd throw that in there. Um, this really helps with that. Uh, you can also get a vertical mouse, uh, which basically sits like this. Um, yeah, so basically sits like this, but it doesn't have the trackball. Anyway, this is about this mouse. So uh, this mouse is also has extreme precision control uh, with the button in the middle as well. And it's got a lot of cool tracking modes. So like I said, it's got dual connectivity. So if you don't have Bluetooth on your computer, you can definitely just use the USB dongle that it comes with. So first things first, it tells you right here how simple it is. You flick on, connect the USB, or go to Bluetooth and connect the mouse, and you're good to go. You'll probably need to use the uh, Logitech software as well if you want to get the full features and functionality, which is what I do. I have a gaming mouse from Logitech. Actually, I trust Logitech with my mice and keyboards and speakers and headsets and webcams. Out of all the brands, I've been using them literally for over 15 years. So make sure you charge this before you use it because I don't know how charged it comes. So right off the bat, this is a very, very hefty mouse. So it's definitely not for someone with small hands. The trackball, extremely smooth. Uh, you can tell right here, it's got a nice little finish. This is gonna glide really nicely. There's the on off switch, left click, right click. You have the wheel in the middle there. It goes left, right, and then you can scroll. I don't know if it has a scroll lock that lets you do infinite scroll, that's a must these days for me at least. It's also got a couple uh, programmable buttons here. So probably to go up and down in pages or you can program them to whatever. And even have a little button right here on the side. So just right off the bat, the mouse is really, really nice. So the tilt function, you just hit the bottom here and now it's tilted, which will help you with wrist pain. nothing else in there and looks like it's a closed uh, loop for the battery so you can't change it yourself and it uses the uh, micro USB not USB-C. There are different versions of this this one here is the master version which is the best of all of them basically. There's the USB dongle if you ever lose this you can buy a universal one and then reprogram the mouse with it. I'm fairly certain that's basically it in the package other than the USB cable. And there's the USB cable. It's decent length, not very long, but half decent length, I should say. Uh, I will definitely be charging it before I use it. And that's basically it in the package. There's not really much more to it. So yeah, as mentioned, make sure you plug it in and charge it and uh, you'll be good to go. So I've used this mouse elsewhere and I am very familiar with it. So overall, what do I think of this mouse? It's a fantastic mouse. It's premium grade, high quality, 
very well designed, sleek, it looks really nice. Uh, the scroll ball is really, really smooth and efficient. And like I said, the buttons are programmable for the most part. Uh, so basically that's it for this video. So just make sure you install the software for this because it will enhance the features and allow you to program it and everything. And you can just go onto Logitech's website and basically grab the uh, software for it. To install the software, navigate to Logitech.com. Once you're on their website, you will see their start page. Um, this start page is uh, uh, as of April 26th, 2023. So when you watch this video, it could be something completely different down the road. Go ahead and click support, and then you want Logitech options. Go ahead and download the software and proceed from there. So as I mentioned earlier in my video, I do have a Logitech gaming keyboard and gaming mouse. So I am using another uh, version of their software called Logitech G Hub. So in the Logitech G Hub, I have my G900 mouse and my G513 keyboard. Now, because this G Hub is for gaming, I don't think it supports the mouse um, in question here, which is the MX Master. So that's why you need Logitech options. So to install Logitech options, download it, open the installer, and then click install Logitech options. I do not like to share my analytics, so I click no thanks. And then I just go through the installation process. So while this installs, I'll mention that with this Logitech options software, you'll be able to customize all the buttons I spoke about earlier, the customizable buttons. So it's just about to finish the installation here. And there we go. It's already detected my Logitech mouse. So as mentioned, you can use the little USB dongle or connect through Bluetooth. I connected mine through Bluetooth. So that's why the mouse is showing up here. So I'm going to click continue. And then it just tells you uh, all the little features, the precision scroll wheel, the easy switch, which allows you to connect uh, two different devices to the mouse. Uh, it's nice if you're using a laptop and a desktop, then you can just switch between them uh, through the USB dongle. But again, Bluetooth does all that. And then it tells you uh, the different precision modes. So um, I'm just going to show you my G900 here. So these are the different uh, DPI settings I have programmed. So it'll be a little bit different with my uh, MX mouse. And then you got the back and forward button. Again, you can customize these. And then uh, the different buttons here. Again, I can customize them. And then it just goes ahead and tells you all the predefined stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with the installer. So basically it asks you what programs you want to integrate. Your list might look a little different than mine. So I'm just going to go ahead and install the predefined settings. You might get an admin window if you're using Windows. It says uh, uh, administrator rights are required, blah, blah, blah. Just click yes and then wait for it to do the uh, profile installation. And it's done installing a profile. So click continue. And now you're all set to go. So go back to options. So I'm going to have to use two different softwares, unfortunately, because I don't think, yeah, I didn't integrate the MX into my um, Logitech um, Gaming Hub software, which is fine. So from here, this is where you can do all your customizations. So you can swap your left and right button here. Uh, if you click more, it gives you a few more options and troubleshooting ability. I don't really need to back up anything. Just do a quick software check and that's all good. Don't need developer mode or analytics. So that's all good there. You don't need to do that step. Skip it if you like. Down here, it tells you the battery charge and what uh, you're using to connect. So I'm using Bluetooth. So for point and scroll, I like my pointer speed fast. So I'm just going to boost it a little here. And I like smooth scrolling. And then... Um, it basically gives you an option to set your wheel direction. It's traditional or inverted. So if you're gaming, some people like up to be down and down to be up. I find with traditional because I'm not gaming with this mouse. So under flow, this will basically allow you to uh, switch between computers seamlessly. And that looks like that's basically it. So if you want to go an extra step, you can log in. And by logging in, It'll basically sync your uh, Logitech profiles for you across devices. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip that step for now because I don't think it's necessary. 
And that's basically it. The uh, Logitech Option software is now installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up again one more time really quick here. And it gives you now gives you the option to install Logitech Options Plus. So I'm going to go ahead and download that because that's going to give me even more functionality with my mouse. So right now the download is complete. So now it's asking me to install it. So I'm going to hit upgrade, uh, user control, uh, user account control. I'm going to click yes. And then I'm going to install options plus. So this is where you'll be able to actually fully customize everything. All right, the install is done. So Click no, I'm going to skip account creation. It's just fetching my options. And there's my mouse. So basically it says it's charging and it's connected via Bluetooth. That makes more sense. So click the mouse to open it up. So not all the functions have been ported over yet. So here's where I was mentioning you can uh, basically set up whatever uh, you want for the button. So for me, I am going to actually make this one undo and then the bottom button here is going to be oh it doesn't let you do that okay so the bottom button is going to be undo and this one's going to be redo for me because that's going to really help with my uh um with my 3d modeling and uh painting stuff in the bamboo um software that i use for my 3d printer so your scroll wheel you have smooth scrolling on smooth scrolling off that just basically affects the software portion of the mouse not the uh, not the uh, hardware portion. So right now I'm just using the trackball, and this is where I set the speed to 92%. I'm going to slow it down just a tad here. Let's put it down to 62. Seems a little slow. 70 is a little slow still, so I'm just going to boost it. Yeah, 76% is fine. And then here's the flow. Once again, I don't have my second computer connected, so nothing to go through there. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, you can also customize these buttons here. So you can set it to do uh, the different scrolling speed. Uh, you can also set it to be volume up, volume down. But I'm just going to leave it like this for now until I start using the mouse. I'll be able to customize it more to uh, fine tune what I like. And that's basically it. That's the installation. Um, so stay tuned for the end of the video. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Um, if you didn't, leave a comment below. Let me know why. If you have any questions, leave comments below as well. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. It's uh, greatly appreciated. Thank you all for watching today. Mike Bot, out.